Well, good morning. Good, good morning, morning, guys. Yeah, breakfast time in Bratislava, and it's been a little difficult finding a place this morning. Yeah, yeah. It's just we went to one place and we thought, oh, this would be a great place to film. We went inside and it was just way too loud. So yeah, the music in these cafes yeah. is like boom, boom, boom. One boom. one thing that we don't always show you guys is that like there's there are times that a restaurant or a cafe or a bar might be a really good place to have food or a drink, mm -hmm. but not necessarily a good place to film either because it's too loud the lighting is awful or just like we're we're seated too close to other people so we like we feel uncomfortable <laughs> so those are those Awkward. are yeah those are the kind of the three conditions that that uh causes us to kibosh a video so all right but we found a place we, we did like. find a place and we this, are at mon dieu yeah apparently this is one of the best places to have breakfast here in bratislava and cakes and cakes as well yeah they have a great looking cake display um, yeah, they basically have a, a very, I would say, a very diverse menu. Ooh, pancakes, um, French toast, omelets. So you were you were actually looking up what a tr traditional Slovak breakfast is. What was that basically? So it involves sausage. Yeah, involves sausage. And we haven't seen a whole lot of sausage on this menu. Well, there is one option. One option. But to okay. be honest, I've been. I've been eating like way more meat than normal and I yeah. just like I just don't feel like I can stomach it this morning <laughs> So we've gone for something a little bit lighter um, Yeah, we've placed our orders and the food should be arriving soon. So we'll show you what we've got in just a few minutes All right, so the drinks are here and we both got the cafe latte macchiato with chocolate Look at this thing of beauty. Look at those layers in there. Oh my goodness I know it's so big and they've got these cute little sugar packs. It's so big this. <laughs> Actually, I don't even know if we need sugar, so I'm gonna try it first. I have a, I have a feeling we won't, especially me. You may still Ooh. want some, but... Ooh. Oh my gosh, that's so thick. It's like, almost looks like a milkshake. Wow. It kind <laughs> of is. Is it? It's like a warm latte milkshake. Like, it's so frothy and rich. Like, the glass is coated in melted milk chocolate, basically. Oh, man. It's amazing. Wow. So no 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 extra sugar needed. No extra sugar needed at all. <laughs> this is an amazing coffee. Oh my gosh! I wish they had this at every single cafe we've ever been to and are ever going to go to. <laughs> <laughs> High praise over here. Really, this is the best. Look, I've already had <laughs> so much of it. <laughs> So let's see if Sam agrees with my high praise for the cafe latte macchiato with chocolate. Whoa. Let's zoom in on that face. Whoa. Get that reaction right there. Yeah, that's like, that's way better than, let's say, like uh, hot chocolate or even like a mocha or something. Like that is some premium stuff. I. I would I would write I would put that up there with like one of those like mixed uh, alcohol uh, coffee drinks like a, you know <laughs> like your Bailey's coffee yeah Irish like a ba coffee. Bailey's or Irish coffee I mean it doesn't have alcohol but it just has that it's rich it's so frothy. rich like it's you so can rich. see look at the bubbles yeah look at that but what I but, but what I like most about it is that it's also really really warm yeah and uh, yeah we need that because it is a chilly fall day today yeah the wind is howling. And somebody refused to wear a jacket because he's <laughs> yeah, like, I'm Canadian, I'm a polar yeah, bear. I, I, <laughs> I could probably have used a jacket today even being Canadian. I mean, normally I don't get cold, but it's a little chilly, so this drink is going to help warm me up for sure. All right, breakfast is here, and it looks amazing. I ordered the scrambled eggs with parmesan and baby spinach, and it's one of those meals that I'm just going to have to eat super quickly before it gets cold because it's actually quite, quite chilly outside. Mmm, parmesan mixed in with scrambled egg. Mm. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> that was a very good idea indeed. Oh my gosh. I haven't had scrambled eggs in a while, so this is pretty tasty. Mm. And it comes with some brown bread, a little salad on the side. I'm not sure if this is your typical slow bag breakfast. It's more of a contemporary twist, but it's still very, very tasty. All right. In he goes. Okay, cool. So breakfast time. I want to get some of the scrambled egg, a bit of spinach. And I'm also gonna try the bread. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. What do you think? That's really good. You're right. The cheese adds a really nice kick. Yeah. I also think the the spinach has been sautéed and in, mm -hmm. in, so, in something really nice. Probably some kind of an oil. It tastes delicious. 
and I saw the red. Oh, it's nice having bread to go along with this. I have a really peculiar um, taste when I'm eating like eggs, like scrambled eggs or omelet. Mm -hmm. I like to have jam on it, so I would have liked to spread some jam on oh here. Oh my gosh, okay, that's really weird. Sam puts jam on his toast, and on top of the jam, he puts the eggs. He mixes sweet and savory, which so I good. think is disgusting. So good. If you haven't tried it, don't knock <laughs> it. <laughs> anyway, that, that's, that's one of my weird uh, food preferences for eggs. <laughs> Eggs with jam, people. Eggs with jam. Eggs with jam. And now Sam is going to introduce us to his dish. Oh, when I saw this on the menu, it just looks so colorful and good. My napkin's blowing off. <laughs> so I am getting, I'm basically getting two pieces of toast. Yeah. One of them has, like, I guess would be would be an original hummus. Yeah. And this over here is um, beetroot hummus beetroot. with beetroot. pomegranate sprinkled on top. Yeah. So, so this is definitely a not your average <laughs> slow breakfast yeah, at all. Yeah, but I'm gonna try some, and I want to get make sure I get some of the uh, pomegranate seeds. seeds. All right. Oh my god, that's good. Yeah. Whoa. I had no idea how thickly spread on. Yeah, that's a. That is a very thick layer. Nice thick layer. Of hummus. Hummus going on. Yeah, I, you do taste the hummus. You do taste the chickpeas, but. It is like there is a very high concentration of beetroot in there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you, it, it doesn't taste like a, an average hummus. I'm gonna try the original one here. All right. Mm -hmm. Which do you prefer? Mm -hmm. Well, they're both really good, but I think I like the one with beetroot. It's just just a little bit different. Um, yeah, this is fantastic. Like, I, like again, I just can't believe how, how thickly they're spreading it on. Mm -hmm. This is so generous. Mmm, great breakfast, guys. All right, going in for the hummus. Let's see what this is all about. Hummus. Mm. Is that nice Ooh. hummus? <laughs> now some olive oil drizzled over it. Yep. Mm. I can't wait for you to try the one with beetroot. <laughs> mm. I like this one a lot already. I know, they're both really good. They're both really okay, let's good. see pink hummus. Mmm. It makes it a little bit sweeter. Exactly, yeah, yeah. I did I didn't think of that, it's true. Mm. It is a little bit sweeter. It's good. I like beetroot, but I still prefer my classic hummus. But this was a really good choice. My hair is flying into your food. Ew. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, this has been a really, really tasty breakfast so far. And since this place specializes yeah. in chocolates, cakes, and baked goods, yeah. Sam could not resist the fruit, getting a slice of cheesecake. The fruit cheesecake just looked too good. And it's like time for a bit of confession time. It's actually 12.05 right now. This is about as late of a breakfast as you can possibly have. Yeah, because at what time did the little prince wake up? I stayed up till 3.30 in the morning <laughs> last night, so... Anyways, he woke yeah. up at like 9.30, so... Eating, eating chocolate and wine, so... That never, wasn't a, never a good idea. Not a great idea. I had trouble going to sleep. <laughs> Anyways, let's try this. Mm. Mm. He's rolling wow. it around in his tongue. Yeah, that was that was a good decision to get this. Yeah. Yeah, it's the kind of cheesecake that tastes so good that you just want to like have it rolling around in your mouth for as long as possible. Don't even chew it. Just let it. Sit, let it melt. <laughs> let it disintegrate and melt slowly over time, and this is good. Great way to finish off the breakfast. All right, Mr. Price Point. All right, Price Point time. So I came to 18 euros total, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I thought that was a really good deal because we ended up basically getting three food items, two breakfast mains plus cheesecake, and we got like the two most premium types of of coffees that really were on the menu. Really fancy. Yeah, it, they were the Ooh, yeah. they were the most expensive on the menu, and it was well worth it though. So yeah, this was just a wonderful place mm -hmm. to go. I'd highly recommend coming here. You can come for breakfast. You could also come in the middle of the afternoon for a really nice snack as well. And you know what we're gonna do next? What are we gonna do? <laughs> we're gonna go back to the apartment oh, and yeah. put on warmer clothes. I need to get put. It's I need so to. Cold. I need to put on my jacket. And you, you, you said I'm you were gonna freezing. get a sweater. So yeah. A sweater and a winter hat. I so, think yeah. fall has officially arrived here in Bratislava. Yeah. So say farewell. Yeah. Ta-ta, guys. See you in the next video. See you in the next video. Ciao.